Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Minecraft Waterworld Superflat Survival. And like I said, like I promised, I did do a lot of off-camera work. Um, including mining out much more sand to create my uh, glass tube from my underwater nether portal base which I'm going to build and uh, free of water and then up to the surface and I was actually thinking that I might even possibly later on or maybe right now make uh, in this episode make an underground passage from uh, my underground uh, from my cobblestone for my stone mine to an underground little kind of mini base under the nether portal and then have a glass tube trend have a glass tube similar to the one I have here which is going to lead me to my underwater base where my underwater nether portal is um, but anyway to do that I need a lot of glass and so what I did is I went ahead and put up a, a larger glass ceiling up here all the way up to here uh, I think that before this episode I think this only extended up to around somewhere over here and I expanded it all the way over there and another thing is what I did is I instead of placing these posts with torches I replaced uh, I just well I didn't replace them because the torches instantly get washed away I put up these uh, signs uh, so when I could walk up here, I could just go through and breathe here. That's just made so I could place the glass on top here. And obviously I need some kind of block here to block uh, the water from flowing into here, which will just flood all my torches, and I don't need that. Uh, and just for aesthetics, I use uh, the glass, a glass block. And although it kind of seems counterintuitive to use glass blocks while collecting sand to make more glass blocks, I mean one, two, three, four, five. So there are five sand blocks. So for each five sand block column, I have to use one sand block to create one uh, glass block to block that off. So, um, anyways, I have about this much stacks of uh, sand. I currently have a little bit more than a stack of uh, pretty much a stack and a half of uh, glass, uh, and that's going to be smelting there. Uh, now. I also actually, I don't remember if I have before, but I also encountered a very large, kind of uh, the largest 3x3 three three naturally, the, the largest um, three, 3 blocks wide and 3 blocks tall type of slime. That's I think it's called like the third level slime or something like that. And that was pretty nice because I don't I don't remember seeing that slime in this world before. And I also have a lot of slime spawning in here as well. And you have probably noticed that I also dug out this area around the dirt as well. And this is just because I wanted to c collect some dirt while my uh, while my sand was smelting. Uh, oh, I can see a I can see a, a big one there, so I'm just gonna kill that before uh, he can do any harm to me. And wow, holy crap, we have so many slime spawning here. Um, oh yes, here's one thing that I really forgot to do. So what I did is, um, like you probably remember, I ran out of cobblestone. So when I came back to my overworld, well, well, when when I came when I came down here, the first thing that I did is I started mining cobblestone. And I just went out three blocks and mined out this whole row right here. And then the next time that I'm going to mine, I'm going to mine that three blocks out of that row as well, just to keep it symmetrical, and then probably expand it that way. Uh, so I just have to uh, put around the torches, which I kind of forgot to put. Uh, now I also got quite a bit of slime balls as well. I mean, just from this this trip, I got 22 slime balls, and I did. Uh, from time to time, periodically go up to my um, surface base as well, and I think, I think in this, ouch, uh, I think in this uh, off camera and in this episode here in total, I collected probably about a stack of slime balls. So, and I think I'm currently have around four stacks of slime balls. I wouldn't say that's very much, but considering that we're playing now, what happened is I actually. I actually accidentally, instead of pressing on the F3 button to show the Minecraft version that I'm currently playing in, I accidentally pressed F4, and F4 is the hotkey that I use to start and stop filming on the editing, on the capturing program that I use, which is Bandicam, and needless to say, that just stopped the recording when I pressed F4. And then after that, I just kind of felt a lag spike, like I usually get a little bit of a lag spike after I start filming. And then I just realized, oh, I had I just accidentally stopped filming by pressing F3. I mean F4. 
Um, but anyways, um, some of the other things that I did off camera is I I filled up half of this double chest with stone pickaxes, and this is just because when I came down here, I only had one stone pickaxe, and I had to mine it out and then craft more stone pickaxes since uh, I was all out of cobblestone, and I only had one stone pickaxe with me, so in case I don't have any stone pickaxes and I don't have any stone, then I just have these stone pickaxes here just to uh, help me out. Uh, now, I also killed quite a bit of chickens. Uh, I bred a lot of chickens uh, over off-camera. I also collected a lot of wood. I, I, I think I got some of these really large trees, that oak trees that grew. I pretty much fully, I guess, cut them down and collected all the wood and leaves, and I got quite a bit of uh, apples from that. Um, I also killed a lot of witches and collected a lot of mob drops just periodically as uh, they were falling down uh, my mob traps. And that has led me to getting a lot of, I think I got more glowstone, yes, I got more glowstone, and then I put some more glowstone in my storage room. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see, let me just collect that and... Uh, let me just fill this up, and also this is the reason why I brought uh, so much oak wood blocks with me, so I could just keep refilling the fuel portion. Um, there we go, nice, and then I'm just going to keep going. Uh, so now I'm just going to go up and show some of the other achievements, well, some of the other things that I did off camera. Uh, now, like I said in the last episode, in this episode, I'm planning to build up my uh, underwater nether base, so... That's hopefully going to, um, I'm hopefully going to com be able to complete that today. Also, one of the things that I forgot to take from, from the mine down there is in my uh, sand mine down there, I have, I think I put down all, my, all of my cobblestone blocks that I have down there. And also, I mean, it really looks nice with the glass on top. You can actually see, like, the dirt down there, so that looks really nice. That's why I'm adding glass instead of actually, uh... I used to have uh, a roof with uh, cobblestone, but now I just decided to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so anyway, here are all the chickens that I have currently in here. Uh, I actually already killed off a lot of them, and their children just grew up, and I bred them once more, and then they grew up, so now I have a lot of chickens. Uh, let's see. I think it's... Uh, yeah, there we go. So I have... I have about a stack and a half of cooked chicken and quite a bit of feathers. Uh, actually, probably should collect the feathers from here. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use the feathers for. I guess only for, like, uh, I guess if I, if, I, if I ever get leather in this world, and you can actually get leather from uh, fishing, so if I do a lot of fishing in this world, I might be able to craft, I might be able to craft, uh, a book, like a written book, and then I could use that to trade with villagers, but other than that, feathers are pretty much completely useless. Uh, and I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna need to craft any arrows with them, uh, that's pretty much the primary use of feathers, because I have this really nice mob grinder that provides all the arrows I need for me. Uh, and also, you probably notice that I actually noticed this gray block over there, so, I mean, gray wool block, so what I did is I took some bone meal and ink sacks, I crafted them together into gray dye and created some gray wool, and I just added that to my wool hall of fame right here, that's just one of the things that I like to do. Uh, if any of you know my vanilla superfod survival or any of my other su survival worlds, then I usually like to have on display different colors of wool up here on my mob grinder. Um... So anyway, let me deposit this slime ball right here, and yep, we have around three stacks of slime balls. Uh, I guess what I could do is I could, um, I could get, uh, let's see, let me just craft some more. I could go ahead and use the smeltery to, to smelt all of the sand. Now, I was actually kind of thinking about leaving some of the sand, uh, not smelted, but I guess I'm not really going to need that. Uh, the only use for sand other than glass would be to craft it together with uh, gunpowder to make uh, TNT. And I guess TNT could be kind of fun. We could actually use TNT to blow our way from the bottom, from the underground level to all the way through to my, um, to below my underwater nether portal base, my future underwater nether portal base. Um... So, I kind of want to hurry this up a little bit, uh, let's see, let me just, uh, yeah, I still have a lot of wood, which is really great, I really did have too much wood just recently, but 
I'm putting all this wood to good use because obviously I need a lot of, uh, fuel to smelt all of this, uh, all this sand and glass. And I mean, these kind of glass tubes, they take just an enormous amount of glass. Seriously, they are a complete glass hogger because you're just, it just takes an extreme amount of glass. I was actually thinking about... Uh, replacing parts of this tube with glowstone blocks as soon as I get more glowstone, but of course that's going to be very costly, but on the other hand I don't really have any other uses for glowstone anyway. Uh, now, at the same time, this upper fence gate protects me from the potions of these uh, witches, so I mean you can see there's just really large stacks of all the mob drops including uh, bones and uh, oh, we got some redstone. And yes, I did get quite a bit of redstone. Also, I think I think at times I can even hit them through here. Their hitboxes, you can see their hitbox extends to here as well. Uh, ooh, we got some more redstone. It's gonna be nice to go and collect it. Oh, I hope that happens. Uh, we gotta kill the spider fast before the poison starts acting on me too much. Uh, ouch. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go and deposit this redstone here. And as you can see, we have pretty much almost a half a stack of redstone, which is great. Uh, and all of our other mob drops are completely overfilling, including our uh, arrow section. Even our bone meal section is really starting to fill up. But uh, also, oh, here's here's one of the other, here's also one of the other things that I did off camera. I crafted some signs. Um, Got to be careful with half a heart. That's pretty really dangerous. Uh, I actually cr I actually did a lot of work on my semi-automatic comp cobblestone, I, I, well, I mean semi-automatic uh, farm, semi-automatic uh, wheat, carrot, and potato farm, because um, as you can see now I have 32, I have half a stack of hay bales, and that's quite a bit of wheat. Now I'm most likely going to use this in the future once I get a villager trading post set up, and I'm going to be able to sell wheat to villagers, or I might just explore some villages and go and sell wheat to them. But the primary reason why I did that is because I am almost... I'm almost completely running out of seeds. Surprisingly, I usually have too much seeds in a world, but in this world I actually have not enough seeds because these I mean these chickens just use a ridiculous amount of uh seeds to breed, so but on the upper side I am getting all this uh cooked chicken, which is kinda ironic that I'm collecting their eggs while eating their own flesh, so Little do they know that they're going to be food for me. Um, anyways, I actually think that... Uh, I think that... I really kind of hate how they're really, like, all over the walls here. And as you can see, some of them escape, so I usually just kill those that escape. Just I don't like them walking around the island. Uh. But anyway, uh, let's see. I have my bulk egg chest here. And oh my god, we just have so much eggs. Um, I think I'm either going to have to add an extension chest or I'm going to have to put these eggs to use because there's just way too many eggs. And also, here's one of the other things that I did. I added a nether stuff chest. So in here, this is just going to be all my nether stuff. And I think also, yes, I collected these mushrooms. So uh, I'm going to expand my island that way and make a little uh, mushroom farm just for large mushrooms, just in case I ever need mushrooms. I think somewhere here I'm going to set up a little potion brewing station next to my smelting station where close to my nether portal because obviously most um, most potion brewing comes from the nether and most potion brewing uh, ingredients come from the nether other than like sugar and uh, a few other things. Um, oh, i got to put back this uh, red mushroom. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, let's see, how much how much glass do we have? Pretty much half a stack. Yeah, around half a stack would be would be a good estimate. Um, so I guess while that's smelting, I'm going to go down and get what's smelted down there, and then I'm going to collect all of, uh, I'm going to get all the cobblestone that I got. I'm actually kind of worried that I'm not going to have enough cobblestone, but uh, I don't think... I don't, I'm not planning to have uh, I'm not planning to have much of the base consist of cobblestone. I was actually thinking on having actually even most of the base walls and most of the base consist of glass blocks it's themselves. Um, or maybe I might make glass panes just simply to save glass. Um, as you can see, we have all, about this much stacks. Uh, I think that's going to be enough. Although, on the other hand, we do have to have this part of the uh, tube be made of uh, cobblestone, so that's going to probably take most of our cobblestone that we have. Um, 
I think I might have probably started the episode a little bit too early. I should have gotten all these things, uh, should have gotten all these things together before starting the episode. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys my progress in my sand farm. I'm just going to call this my sand mining area and some of the progress that I have made in my cobblestone mining area as well. Uh, no, just have a little bit left. Uh, let me just go down and try to see what's down there. Um, now, hmm, surprisingly, there's very few. It's interesting that the slimes all kind of gather in this direction. It's interesting how they're kind of jumping towards that direction. So I, I, I think that that would be a slime chunk somewhere over there. Um, now I'm not actually planning on making a slime farm. Although a lot of a lot of people, some YouTubers that I watch, actually they use uh, when they find slime chunks. The first thing that they do is they just make a slime farm. But I'm I don't really need slime balls, so making a slime farm is kind of useless. Um, let's see, is there anything in here? Uh, nope, doesn't seem so. Now I think that our smelting has pretty much finished, almost finished. Um, now, I just had to add this little corner here just uh, because, just to craft some things, just to store some sand or something. Um, now, anyways, my, I'm pretty sure that the nether base, my nether base is going to be somewhere in that direction over there. So, if there is ever going to be some kind of uh, a rail system or an underground rail system or possibly some kind of tunnel to there, then it's going to start somewhere over there in that corner over there. Um... And then, of course, there's going to be a tube, and it's probably going to go kind of like zigzag or sideways, which isn't really the best way to run because you're just going to have to run like this, and that's really annoying. Um, anyways, I was actually, actually, one of the things that I was thinking about is I might actually use TNT if I, I, can, I can put all my gunpowder to good use and mine out a bunch more sand, and then I can just use TNT to... Um, and I think I think you only need four blocks of TNT per. Uh, you you need four four blocks of sand per TNT. So one two three four. So it's gonna take pretty much one row of sand to craft one block of TNT, and that's actually pretty good if you ask me. Um, I m I was actually thinking I might even possibly okay I got everything. I might actually even possibly use TNT to blast a tunnel through uh, stone to my nether base. Although, I'm actually probably... Now, if you think about it, since my nether nether portal exit is in that direction over there, the tunnel is probably going to do... is probably going to go underwater. I mean, underground, right under the village. And I think there's some kind of abandoned mine shaft somewhere there, so that we might actually make a tunnel through the abandoned mine shaft. And I might find... I'm pretty sure that there's some parts of the mine shaft which I haven't explored yet, and that's definitely going to be a topic for future videos. Um... Anyway, let me see how that is doing. Uh, let's see. Looks like we ran out of fuel here. Uh, now, I think I have more than enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to remove all these... Uh, I'm going to remove these wood planks. I definitely have enough. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need more. And the remaining sand, I'm just probably going to use it for TNT or just, just for whatever I need to use. Uh, or maybe just as a gravity block, probably. Uh, let's see. Quite a bit of uh, glass here, and wow, one, two, three, four. We we all we have almost five stacks of glass. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Probably even a little bit more than we need, but uh, of course, more is better than less. Um, looks like I'm ready to go ahead and venture out onto my base. Uh, let's see. Do you have enough? I think I might. I'm gonna just craft one more stone pickaxe just in case because. Uh, I might need to mine quite a bit. Oh yeah, actually this is going to involve a lot of mining because I'm going to have to fill in all the blocks so I can um so that I can evacuate my underwater base from any water. And I guess I'd I'd like to say that at the same time it is pretty close by to my base, but I mean it still takes quite a bit of time especially if you swim without a boat. Wouldn't want to swim without one. Um I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a uh, kind of like a type of uh, let's hope that this doesn't oh I always kind of accidentally push it out um, now I'm tr probably going to try to um, jump and shift click uh, now I'm going to dismantle this thing over here 
Although, on the other hand, I actually don't really want to dismantle it, and the reason for that would be just because, I mean, this kind of looks kind of like nethery, so uh, it'd be nice to uh, have that stay there. Um, kind of looks ugly with that uh, cobblestone block there, but not, it's not too bad. Um, oh, it looks like the sun, oh, the sun's only rising up. I don't really, I don't really care if it's day or night in this world, because pretty much I light up everything up, and other than that, mobs can't really spawn anywhere here. Um, so, let me think of this. I think that the first thing that I have to do is... Oh, also, here's one thing that I really forgot to do. I have to craft a bunch more ladders, because I'm going to need a lot of ladders here. So, it's a good thing that I took all these wood planks with me. Uh, let's see... I'm just gonna make some more wooden planks, uh, just make a stack more. Uh, there we go, nice. Um, I need at least about 100 ladders, so that's probably going to take, uh, I guess two stacks of ladders, a little bit less than two stacks, uh, so let's see. Um, I think, I don't really think that's enough, I'm just going to use all these sticks, at least this, to make a lot to make the most amount of ladders that I can. Um, and it seems like a little goes a big way. And in the beginning of the Let's Play, when I had to make my first ladder, it really took me such a long time to gather enough resources to uh, get this many ladders. But now that I have all these, all this wood and a bunch of more resources, it seems so easy to craft everything because obviously I have way too much wood than I need even. Um, let's see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm probably going to... Now, what I was kind of thinking about is to save on cobblestone, I might as well just leave this shaft as being netherrack. So um, just, just so that I can kind of distinguish it from my main one. So that's just going to be for aesthetics and also so that I can uh, use less cobblestone. Wow, this is pretty quick. I don't remember actually doing this the last time I was here. Now, I don't really think that was a good idea because, I mean, this is way too close to the nether portal and that's not really going to look that well, that good as I'd like it to look. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to give the benefit of the doubt and uh, just leave it like that. Now, building underwater is always kind of difficult, so... Uh, let me just bring with me some, that's why I also brought some signs with me, just so I can, uh, breathe underwater somehow. Uh, now, I'm probably just going to make the basis for my, uh, I'm just probably gonna lay out everything in glass, except, I'm probably, oh yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna lay everything out, like, right here, around with cobblestone, so... Now, what's going to kind of make it a little bit difficult is that I don't really want to go to the nether here, so, and if the water currents kind of push me into the nether portal, that would kind of suck. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to want to have the part around the nether portal be made out of uh, cobblestone, just because I think it looks better. Uh, then I'm just going to mine these nether rack pieces here, and of course, oh, this piece just got sent to the nether. Um, Okay, let's see, let's see, is there anywhere where I can breathe? I should probably reach the ladder from here. There we go, nice. Um, so, let me just, uh... Now, I'm not really gonna bother with collecting any of this Natherrack. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna lose pretty much all of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, it seems like I do have enough to reach the bottom here. Um, so let's see. This is going to be made out of cobblestone as well, same as this piece. Or I just gotta go breathe, uh, let's see. I'm probably going to extend, I'm going to extend my ladder down here. Uh, let's see, I gotta grab my ladder here from here. There I go, nice, nice, nice. Uh, and then just add a cobblestone here, and this is what my tube is going to com be comprised of. And also I'm going to hopefully, maybe in the future, maybe not, in this episode, but have a tube go even further down and down into the the stone layer of uh, the underground area. Um, now I'm just going to collect this as well. There we go. Got that. Got that. Uh, 
Now I'm going to replace this with uh, cobblestone. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, so I'm just going to go another block out here with uh, cobblestone. And let's see. I'm going to have to go another block out here as well. There we go. Nice. And then this area is going to be made out of, uh, let's see, one, two, one, two, three. And then just f so it would be symmetric, I have to add another cobblestone on this side right here as well. There we go. And then I think that the rest of the floor is actually going to be made out of... Um... Also, here's one thing that I'm going to have to uh, keep in mind. I actually have to go underwater and... Now... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go underwater and uh, let's see. It's so dark here I can barely see anything. I have to go underwater and basically lay out cobblestone uh, below the obsidian. And the reason for this is if I ever want to mine, uh, if I ever want to make a bunch of um, obsidian, then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to basically spawn this up. Uh, portal in and if I want to mine the cobble uh, I mean the obsidian I'm gonna have to have a cobblestone underneath the there so that the cobblestone doesn't just flow down there so I'm going to create a little area over there uh, let's see yeah I can't seem to really see anything here so I'm probably just going to have to do this uh, let's see is this the obsidian yes looks like there's an obsidian here there we go uh, so there must be another obsidian here, uh, and then there's another obsidian here, which I have to put here. There we go. Nice. There's another obsidian here. Uh, so let's see. Is there any... Oh, yes. There's another obsidian here. Um, and then since there's an obsidian there, there must be one here as well. So let me just go and uh, get some air again, and then uh, probably going to just mine this just so it wouldn't disorient me. And of course, it takes... A horribly long amount of time to mine anything underwater especially when you're floating in the middle of the water and it seems like we're about to start suffocating there we go nice nice uh, let me just get some uh, chicken so I can regen there we go nice nice uh, so, uh, let's see. Yes, this seems this seems good. This seems pretty nice. And um, what I'm just going to do is, just in case, I'm going to add some signs on these ends here. If I ever want to service this area here. It's kind of a waste of signs, but uh, it's still pretty nice. Uh, if I ever need to swim down there. Uh, so, let's go get some more air. Um... And then let me just lay out some more glass here. Now I'm thinking, how large do I want this base to be? I don't really think it should be that large. I'm just going to uh, expand it a little bit more. Probably just three blocks more. And I think at this point... Um... Oh yes, I should probably... I'm going to expand it one block here as well just so I could uh, put a wall up of glass and then on the other side we're gonna have to do that as well to make it look symmetrical so that we can have this cobblestone see-through from here and that's gonna look pretty nice um, now this part I'm not gonna add and add any glass over there uh, let's see now I gotta put up the walls uh, let's see this is probably just gonna look like this um, I'd actually like it to have a uh, three high. I'd like the room to be kind of big and spacious, so this is going to be pretty tall. Now, I think I'm probably going to run out of glass, but uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do then. I'm just probably going to go ahead and uh, get more glass. But meanwhile, I'm just going to make a three high wall here and just see how much glass I have left. Gotta go and breathe a little bit more. Um, now the advantage is that we actually don't have that much... Uh, the base isn't really that large if you think about it. I mean, it's actually pretty small, so that makes it easier because I don't have to set up breathing posts all the time. Oh, we're probably gonna suffocate now a little bit. Uh, let's see. Wow, suffocation takes a lot of damage. Like, it's like one heart per second, so... 
or one heart per two seconds, so that's still quite a bit. Um, now, what I was thinking is, just so it would look nice, I'm probably going to have this wall be made out of cobblestone, just so, just as a contrast to the glass. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put a torch on here. It's too, it's too far away to run over there. There you go. Nice. Got it. Now, definitely, I'm going to have an entrance somewhere, so in case I'm swimming somewhere out here, I am going to put up an entrance that's probably going to be somewhere over here, so I can swim out if I ever need to. Um, well, looks like we have still quite a bit of glass left, so... Now, I'm kind of thinking... What are we going to do with the... the nether portal. Actually, now what I think is we should actually have it be have the base be a little bit taller than the the obsidian blocks because I plan on doing some uh, cobblestone mining here so I'm gonna have to have uh, the roof be really high up and I'm probably gonna pretty much run out of uh, glass very very soon and in that case, I'm just going to have to, uh, I guess, cut filming and then go and have to get more glass. Oh, actually. Wait. Yeah, I accidentally I think I accidentally put up uh, a glass too high. But uh, anyway, I'll just leave that there for now. Um, it is very difficult to build anything this uh, in underwater, especially a fairly large building inside building like this. Uh, let's see. There we go. I just barely evaded suffocation. Oh, we still have quite a bit of uh, glass left. And thankfully, I don't have to use glass here because uh, this is just going to be made out of cobblestone now. Hopefully, oh yeah, I definitely have enough cobblestone for that. Um, that's going to cut down a little bit on our uh, glass usage, but obviously we're not going to have enough uh, glass to complete the ceiling. I'm pretty much sure of that. Um, we are gonna be. We are gonna have enough glass to complete uh, this section, though. And also another thing which I just remembered is we do have to have this tube lined in glass as well. So that means that I definitely am going to need more glass. Um, let's see how much 54 glass gets us in that sense. Uh, I don't think very far. Um, we're about to run out, but we're actually pretty close to completing it. Which is nice. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to have pretty much everything here except this one block filled in with glass. So I'm just going to surround this area here as well. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, we might even actually get the roof completed. Wow. To my surprise, we did have enough... Uh, we did have enough glass for the roof, which I am extremely surprised because I never really even thought that I might have enough glass. Now, I guess I could have cut off, cut this piece of glass, and instead of uh, actually having this glass, just have, just not add anything there and just have it be a water block. But I just wanted to look at completely cubicle just uh, for aesthetics. Um, so now, another daunting task that we have is evacuating this whole place out of water, and that's pretty difficult considering it's a fairly large um, room so I'm just going to do this layer by layer uh, and put cobblestone down and then break the cobblestone actually what I could use is I could really use some uh, I could really use some I could really use some dirt right now and unfortunately I didn't take any dirt with me I didn't really think that it would be much more efficient to use something with dirt uh, but I guess that would have been a better decision to use dirt. Uh, now I was actually thinking I might probably, um, I might actually, let's see, I might actually use netherrack for this, and I was thinking I might actually, oh my god, yeah, these water currents are killing me, pretty much literally. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna have this here, just so I could... And it's interesting, but when I'm inside uh, an air block, I can actually mine as fast as I would if I were on the surface. 
Uh, but anyway, actually what I thought about is that I could possibly go to the nether and get some... I could go to the nether and I could potentially get some netherrack and then from there I could use that netherrack to... Let's see. I could use that netherrack to evacuate all the air in here and that's just so I can... Um, because as we all know netherrack is... Netherrack can be mined much faster than uh, cobblestone, so. So let's see. Yeah, anyway, let's go to the nether. I'm kind of tired of this water world. And of course, I'm going to have to expand this base as well. Let me just, uh. Let's see. I'm going to put some cobblestone over here. Uh, let's see. Now, I did have. I did have uh, somewhere here. I did have. A netherrack mine. I'm pretty sure. Yes, there we go. Pretty sure it's right here. There we go. We got a zombie pigment here. Got to be really careful with him. I really hate zombie pigment, but I can't really do anything about it. Uh, we got some cave noises here as well. Now, I'm. I think I'm just gonna collect about two stacks of netherrack. That shouldn't take long. And as you can see, netherrack is able to be mined much faster, and that's just what I'm going to use for my uh, as my filler block. Well, there's another cave here. I'm really surprised. Well, I'm really surprised the ne the Nether has such an extensive system of caves. It's almost as like the overworld, except with uh, Netherrack. Pretty much. Uh, let's see. I'm going to expand out here as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, three by three. Now I might possibly make a gold farm in the Nether in the future. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do then. But I was actually thinking about possibly making a gold farm in. Uh, I was thinking about making a gold farm in in the overworld by using uh, nether portals. Just by building up a bunch of nether portals and then lighting them. And then that's going to have a system where... So basically, nether portals spawn... Uh, they spawn zombie pigment periodically. So just automatically. like It's not like they actually enter your portal. They just spawn from the portals at times. Uh, so... So then that's just going to spawn the zombie pigment, and then they're going to fall down, and then they're going to get basically get killed. And I saw some designs on the internet which are able to produce as much as one gold ingot per hour, even if you use just one very large 23 by 23 nether portal. And I thought about using that, uh, but then I thought, oh, I'm going to need a bunch of obsidian. So, And the only way that I can really get a lot of obsidian in this world is would be to farm obsidian using my nether portal. So that's also the reason why I'm making such an extensive base, is so that it would be much easier to mine, well, basically to farm. Uh, oh, we, got, we already got gas firing at us. Uh, so it would be much easier to farm obsidian by uh, spawning nether portals. Alright, we have more than enough, so let's just go ahead and go back into this water world that we are in. There you go, nice, nice. Um, now, let me see. Now, I'm pretty sure that... I have already evacuated this area out of water, so now I'm just going to have to evacuate this area. And I'm just going to fully cover this up, and if I did this correctly... Oh, there's some space to breathe here. If I did this correctly, then this whole area should basically drain and become completely free of any water currents. Uh, let's see. I just have to... Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go, it's going down, it's going down. And there we go. And I have to do this to the whole, to my whole base. Uh, now, I guess that this is kind of boring for you guys to watch, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cut filming here, and obviously this episode is kind of getting long by itself, so I'm just going to cut filming here and uh, just make a little bit of a time lapse where I'm just going to film it and... I'm just gonna, I, th I think I'm going to speed it up by eight times, so you just guys don't have to sit through watching me uh, filling in every single block in this glass underwater dome. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit later. See you guys a bit later.
Alright, welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Uh, now, I'm not really sure what to do with this top little island here. I was just kind of thinking to place just a little, uh, just a crafting table, possibly, well, a furnace, uh, some chests. But another thing that I was gonna, going to do is I was thinking about making a uh, type of, uh, and this is one of the things that I'm going to do at my base as well. I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make a little redstone activated dock where I can have a bunch of boats sitting in there with a little dispenser with, well, a type of a dispenser that would uh, dispense boats onto the water so I can press a button then get a boat and then that's just, and then that's pressing the button would also automatically open the gates for some time and then when I um, exit out of the gate uh, it's gonna be a fence gate on my uh, wooden boat then that's going to close them uh, and then that's probably just gonna be the biggest thing on here I just want to have a really good dock system possibly with redstone and also one in my, in my on my main base as well uh, I decided to keep this pillar here just because it looks like a nether rack and also let me just explain some of the th things that I did here uh, now first of all I I was actually really surprised with how much glass I did actually have. I mean, this is just a, a ton of glass that I really thought that I was going to run out of glass much sooner than I actually did. I almost, I was almost, almost finished. I'd say I need o only about, like, uh, maybe half a stack of glass more. Uh, that's definitely, I have definitely enough sand for that. I still have a little bit of sand left over from smelting from the glass that didn't smelt. Um, but anyway... Um, I'm just gonna, uh, uh, this is probably just gonna be done off camera, I'm gonna smelt some more glass and then just add some more glass up here, on here, uh, now, let me just go down here, now what kind of bothered me is one thing that I should have planned out better is I should have really planned out better the... I should have really planned out the ladder placement better than I actually did because as it looks as of right now it kinda looks really horrible and I really hate it to have a ladder right here right next to the nether portal entrance uh, well, on the other hand that could have helped me if for example I were to exit out um, so I just create a little mechanism here where I walk up where I go up this uh, ladder and then I walk up this ladder as well Although on the other hand, uh, it seems like whenever I spawn, I actually, I think you guys, uh, you probably saw me on the time lapse that I, I went into the nether. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to see from which direction I would spawn. So this is the, this is the direction I was facing when I spawned. So that's why I put a little crafting table here, a chest. I also kind of placed, I also made a, a, a little, I also made a door here. And the reason for that is... This is pr probably never really gonna happen, but if I'm ever swimming around here, or if I ever want to exit this um, kind of glass dome here, out uh, glass box, out into the water there, then I can do that. Actually, one of the things that I thought about is I might potentially be able to actually take my... What I might actually be able to do is I might take a boat and then put a boat here and then use the boat as a type of an elevator up to the surface. Uh, I was actually thinking about making a boat elevator here, and that's going to be more of a long-term type of project. Uh, that's going to take a lot more glass. I'm planning to make it out of glass, possibly, and as you can see, I can place signs on glass pretty well, so I might actually make a glass... I, I mean, I might actually make an ele uh, like a type of an elevator in the future, and then that's just going to be very handy, especially when I exit the portal, then I can just get into a boat and then get up to the top. Uh, and that's also going to tie in inside with my dock, which is uh, going to be up there. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use the ladder to get up and down. Uh, and then, this right here, I replaced these glass blocks so I could place a ladder here. It is because in the future, I'd like to have this go down to the bottom of the, the ocean, and then down into the... Um... Oh yeah, that's really annoying. I'd like to have this go down into, I'd like to have this go down into the stone layer and other layers there so that if I ever need stone or something or, um, actually I could, yes, I was actually planning to have, uh, an underground tunnel from, uh, from 
underground over there to my base over there so I could so I can choose if I want to take the boat or if I want to go underground or maybe or actually alternatively instead of building instead instead of building um a boat elevator I might possibly in the future build uh, a railway system which would kind of go zigzag and I'm probably going to make that out of glass as well just for aesthetics uh, but of course that's all very late game stuff and obviously I don't have enough resources to build that as of right now so that's going to be put on hold um, now what I was actually thinking is I don't really like how this design looks out I mean I, I kind of meant to have this be a little bit more uh, I guess I guess more appealing and kind of look better but as a result this kind of looks really horribly and I mean I mean what is it if my ladder goes down here if you think about it um, I mean I when I exit the nether portal I'm just gonna be looking in that direction over there so if I need to go upwards then I'm just gonna turn around and then go up here and then go up and I won't have to go up first here and then to an intermediately intermediary platform and then go up there uh, I just made that decision right now I really do think it looks much better that way um, so anyway, in general I really like how this little kind of base turned out I'd say it's a little bit uh, tight but I mean I could have made it much better I mean for for all you know it could have been just the size of the the size of the nether portal and I might actually what I might do is in the future uh, as I start uh, possibly um, mining in the future as I might possibly start mining uh, this obsidian portal I mean like farming the obsidian portal then I might create a little mechanism where I have a dispenser which dispenses out water onto the portal and then somehow have uh, I guess a system of uh, signs block the water from flowing around into the torches and that is just meant to well basically I guess extinguish the portal uh, and then that way I'm, it's gonna be easier for me to mine it I guess what I could do is I could just break one of these blocks here and then that will just automatically turn off the portal but what I want to avoid is I want to avoid for example you probably noticed that when, when I was mining the netherrack some parts from the netherrack they jumped up and they actually went into the nether portal so if I were to mine an obsidian block if it jumped up there's a small chance that it might go into the portal but if I were to extinguish it then it just may be much easier to mine it and just possibly place supports around here so it would be easier to mine and collect the obsidian and but that's of course late game stuff as well and when I went down there, I can also confirm, I can see how this is working very well. Uh, this is just so that uh, when I mine the obsidian, then there's no there's no water under there. So, for example, if I mine this piece of obsidian, there's going to be a cobblestone there. So, it, the obsidian is not going to get lost into the ocean. Um, so, anyway, like I said, I'm going to mine some more. I'm going to smelt some more sand off camera. And then I'm going to uh, complete this little tube here. And uh, I'm not, although I'm not sure, I might do this on camera or off camera. I might devise a type of a, a redstone mechanism, like a, like like I already told you, uh, a soul sand lined dock here, and then and then just uh, make one on my base as well. So anyway, now this episode was kind of long, but uh, if you got to this point, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I don't really think anybody got to this point, but uh, if you did, leave a comment down in the comment section and tell me that you did. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching, guys. This was a great pleasure making this video. Thank you very much for watching. This was Minecraft Alex, and uh, see you all guys in the next video.